time and you're watching, We're watching the entertainment. Entertainment. Oh, entertainment. The scoop. Scoop. And this is where I get my news. Let me tell you, I saw your name on the tip sheet. I was like, oh my gosh, please tell me I'm going to see him. I want to talk to him. Absolutely. So you've been traveling, you're on tour, you're doing all this stuff. Tell yeah. us about it. Well, uh, I'm always traveling. I travel at least twice, three times a month touring in between recording. Yeah. Uh, right now, I'm just I'm starting rehearsals in two weeks for a Broadway play I'm doing called Hair at the Hollywood Bowl. For three days, y'all got to come check it out. It's the first, second, and third of August. Broadway? Nervous, but very excited about it. What is the big difference? Like, how do you, how are you transitioning into Broadway? Well, I, I was asked by someone I shot with before, yeah. uh, the, the director of Step Up, the first one, and he asked me, and I was like, give me one day to respond to you. As soon as I hung up the phone, I called him back, like, I don't even need a day. I'm going to do it. Like, I love challenging myself, and I think that um, being able to put all three of those talents together <laughs> is just, you know, it's something that I'm looking forward to doing, you know? This is my sister right here. Oh, I love this guy. Me too. You look amazing. Thank you very much. Likewise. Okay. Likewise. <laughs> so good. So Broadway. And then uh, music, of course. Uh, that's something I'm always doing. Right now, I'm working on a new sound for the album. And it's coming together great. I'm going to release like two or three singles within the next before the end of the year yeah. one is going to be like a buzz record the other two if things roll the way I want will be you know officially for the album yeah. what can we look forward to in this new album is it yeah. something different that we haven't seen before yeah definitely yeah. you've never heard this sound from me before and it's I would say it's, it's alternative in the sense that the music is just as important to me as the lyrics and as the melody yeah. you know whereas though like I feel like with traditional R&B you have you know traditional uh, method of making a, a record but this one I might have an intro then a verse then use all music then back to the verse then to the court like it's just I'm doing more alternative music with this one different sounds yeah. that's what I'm working on now my catalog has a bunch of stuff in it but for the album that I want to create it's for the world you know what what's your favorite song on this album so far so far yeah Woo. do you have a favorite yet? I have a song called A Word For You uh, and uh, it's just, it's eclectic, and it's soulful, and it's classic. And um, I just, I love the sounds, and I love the vibe of it. Like, the process of getting live strings in the studio and doing stuff like It's a whole nother level, you know? Yeah. And of course, we're celebrating music tonight. Yes. What's your favorite yeah. music, and what kind of music were you listening to on your way here? I was actually listening to Sam Smith and Kanye. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah nice. I was. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, like, I have another DJ mix with just instrumentals from, like, the 80s to, like, the, the, the 50s, like, all types of crazy, and, like, a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So what is your go-to song that that feel good music? Your go-to song make you feel good, yeah. I would say Marvin Gaye's Bedroom that, uh, Bedroom Classics. Forget about it. I was on I was on an airport the other day and I had it on and I was singing because the flight was delayed and this lady came up to me. She was like, You should sing. You should do this for a living. You're like, uh, yeah, I love when people say that because it's like it, it She didn't recognize I didn't you? anything by it. I mean Maybe she did later, I don't know. But yeah, in the yeah, moment, yeah. it's like, that's dope, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah.